Hi, today I'm quickly going to take you through how to use RSA Secure ID, a two-factor authentication device, um, for authenticating to an SSL VPN. In this case, I'm going to do the demo with a Juniper SSL VPN, but exactly the same um, principles and the way it works is the same if you're using a Cisco VPN, a Citrix Access Gateway, or many other forms of VPN or a web server. Um, so in this case, you'll see it's a completely standard login page um, from Juniper. We've got a couple of extra options on here that you can see more of in our other demos. But in this case, I'm going to be logging in as a user called Norman Fletcher, and he's got an RSA Secure ID token provided by Signify um, to perform two-factor authentication, which is a, a good way of proving that this really is Norman Fletcher logging in. So Norman would simply start his web browser, type in the URL to go to his SSL VPN. At the username prompt, he then simply types in his username, which in this case is N Fletcher. He then simply types in his PIN number, followed by the number shown in the token, which in this case is 8197659. That number changes every 60 seconds. It won't be valid as soon as I enter it or in 60 seconds time. That passcode simply gets sent to the Juniper. The Juniper sends it onto Signify's authentication servers, which then confirm whether that passcode is correct for this user, Norman Fletcher. In this case, it's then responded saying, yes, that's the correct username and the correct passcode for this user. So we know he's both got the pin right and he's physically got this token with him. He's then been given access to some internal systems. In this case, um, he's being given access to Microsoft Windows terminal services, which in this case he is using just as he does when based in the office to run all his applications. So he simply clicks on the terminal services link, um, which um, takes him to the terminal server login. Here he simply enters his Windows password. Which logs him into the terminal services and then he's just in terminal services just as he would be logged in in the application. He can click on the start menu, go to all his normal applications such as Outlook, Visio, um, Word, etc. Um, giving him simple access to all his applications. It's that easy.